might even make this club stronger than it already is. So I'd like to share a bit of that with you tonight. One of the things that I picked up at our con conference this weekend was the achieving success, attracting and retaining members, which is always a challenge for clubs. It's just a very short brochure. I hadn't seen this specific one before. I'm going to leave this with Vicki or you. Our keynote, Connor Kaneen, shared what he titled Toastmasters Growth, The Gift of Gab. Gab is an acronym. He loves acronyms, this guy, which is great. The acronym Gab stands, G stands for goals, A for attitude, and B for behavior. And he related all this to clubs and to club growth, and to member retention. G, goals. Does your club have a clear vision and clear goals? How do you set vision and goals? This isn't something he went into, but something as I was thinking about the various clubs. How does this club set vision and goals? How often does that happen? It should happen at least annually with the change of officers. It should involve both outgoing and incoming officers in maybe a two or three hour meeting over lunch or however you want to do that to really set some specific goals for your club for the coming year. Specific clear goals and vision that then all the members of the club can buy into and then the members of the club can also share with people who might be interested in joining. A second is, what is your goal for guest experience? What do you want visitors to leave with? What do we want Tiffany to remember about us tonight when she leaves the club? Do we want her to go screaming up those stairs and say, I'm never going back there again? <laughs> or do we want her to feel like she's been welcomed? I'm sorry, I'm thinking you know you don't want She's going to run screaming up the stairs. <laughs> Will she leave with a positive sense of having been greeted warmly and welcomed and encouraged to return? Will we follow up with her in this next week? Mm -hmm. We will, we will. <laughs> A is attitude. And I found this very interesting. He told this hilarious story about being pulled over by a gentleman driving a, as he said, mobile discotheque. I looked yeah. in my mirror, and there it was, a mobile discotheque. So I pulled my car over to this hyper road, and the gentleman with the mobile discotheque pulled over behind me, which was just this hilarious image in your mind right away. He talked about attitude, how he could have had an attitude of, well, I didn't deserve to get pulled over, and I don't know what this is about. But instead, he chose to have a positive attitude and to engage the police officer in some conversation. As a result, 
his amount of his ticket was reduced because he had actually done two stupid things to get pulled over. And the officer gave him a warning on one and a ticket on running the red light. Probably the worst of the two infractions. But his point was, what do I want my attitude to be? In any circumstance, what do I want my attitude to be? I can't control anyone else's attitude, but in every circumstance, I can control my own. I can control my reaction. I can control whether I get angry or not. One thing that came to my mind was conversations I've had with my children where I have been upset. Maybe they came home late. And the whole time I'm playing this tape in my head of what I'm going to say to them when they come through the door. <laughs> you know? And the more I think it through, the angrier I get and the more upset I get that they can't follow the rules. Well, by me bringing anger into that conversation, it immediately puts up walls between me and my child. If I can remain unemotional and stick to the facts of you were late, and that's the deal, and here's the consequence, then their attitude will reflect my attitude. Others' attitudes will reflect our attitudes. And that's an important point. I thought it was a great point to remember. Behavior. This was interesting. Behavior equals brand. Brand equals your reputation or what others say about you. So what do people say about our club? What is our club's brand? What do we want people to say about this club? What do we want people to think about this club? How do we want people to remember this club? That's all part of our brand. Yes, our website's part of our brand. That reflects those things. Our reach into the community reflects those things. Each of us as individuals reflects the brand of our club, and really our own brand. What do we want people to think of us as individuals? What kind of perception do we want them to take away from an interaction with us? He also stated that your behavior creates an emotional transaction between you and another person. Getting back to that example I used of myself and my children, if I get angry, if I let my emotion go to that level, that creates an emotional transaction between me and my child that puts up walls between us. And we can do that too as individuals and as a club, depending on how we present ourselves and how our club behaves. What's our brand? One other thing that I think is important as a reminder, and I've seen this throughout clubs throughout the district, is to just remember that the, one of the big reasons for Toastmasters is to help people simulate a real meeting situation. We need to remember to keep some formality in it. We have gotten, in, in most of our clubs, to be great friends. It's a great place to come. We come and we have fun at meetings, but we have to keep in mind that people want to know how to be better in meetings, how to fulfill roles in meetings, how to be responsible. One of those things is being responsible in roles. When we are assigned roles, if we cannot make it, we need to let the Toastmaster know in advance of the meeting that slips. That slips. Sometimes people just don't show up and we're scrambling to fill roles. If you were being paid by a boss to be at this meeting, that would not happen, would it? So we need to be considering that as well. In your mind, this is a professional meeting and you're getting paid by your boss to be here. What you're really doing is you're investing in yourself. 
because by learning these techniques, it will enable you to be more confident and more comfortable in situations out in the public and to function very comfortably in the meeting, even if things get messed up like they just did. Jack handled that very well. It happens. Equipment doesn't work. It happens. Lights go out. It happens. So this is an opportunity for us to practice some of those situations and be comfortable when we get out into the real world. There's something else in my head. Just move out, I think. Hmm. Must not have been all that important. Oh, I know, the new the new educational program that's coming out in a couple of years. <laughs> yes. It's out it's now out to twenty cities seventeen or eighteen. Somewhere over the rainbow. <laughs> It's going to, it really is going to be a great educational system. We're finally seeing more and more pieces of that in terms of helping people evaluate where they are and what they really want to learn. But you know what? I think we can take the tools we have now and we can help people do that same evaluation. Figure out what it is exactly they want to get out of this and help them create the path to do that. Whether it's what they should use as subjects for their for their talks, or how they can better use the leadership side of it. So that's my challenge to this club. Set some goals and vision. Get a sign outside so that people who drive by can. How many people have not come in because they weren't sure? We get brave ones like Tiffany who find the stairs and find us down here. But there's no sign upstairs that says, those masters, this one. How many people have come in and looked and said, well, maybe not. Maybe I'm in the wrong place and left and never come back. And that's sad because they deserve to be here and to learn these skills as well. So doing that maybe a little bit better job of having some presence where people can actually wander in and find us and be a great thing. Are there any questions for me? Lloyd. Not really a question, but in terms of goals, the last time I looked at the uh, online TI reports, there, there's something called the Distinguished Club Program that some of you newer people probably don't know about, and that's the source of all of those ribbons on the banner. It recognizes the, what amounts to the quality of the club, and we're the second or third largest club in the district right now, I think, aren't, aren't we? I'm not yes. sure right after the dues period that there'll be some adjustments. But the prison clubs. Yeah, right. Uh, those guys don't have a lot else to do, you know. But anyway, <laughs> uh, we're, we're the second or third largest club in the district. We were the second club to reach distinguished status this year with five goals, and we were the first one to reach select distinguished status with eight. And as soon as Mary does two more speeches, or Jeff, who's not here tonight, does three more, we will reach nine goals, so we'll be presidents distinguished again this year. And we do quite well. Yes. We, we have to keep in mind, we're one of the elite clubs in the in the organization in this part of the world. Yes, let's keep that standard up, too. Yeah. Uh, we're very good at attracting new members. I think we attracted 12 this year. Now, of course, people leave, too, so the net you know, stays roughly in that 25 to 30 range, which is a good size because that gets about... Uh, you know, a dozen to fifteen at each meeting. So. Maybe one of the goals is to work on retention mm -hmm. and have some specific yeah. vision as to how mm -hmm. that might happen. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool to get big enough that we'd have to spin off another club. Yes, that would be very cool. Good problem to have. Anyone yeah. else? Anything else? Well, I won't be back to visit you again. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to come back. Next, no, next week I'm in Yakima, visiting clubs down there. So we will not be here next week. And the following week I think we're taking vacation after our visit. So we'll so, be back in a couple of weeks. Thank you for your time. You guys are great.